my name is Carl from Uno Platform. Let me show you how to set up data bindings in a document using our uh, plugin for Figma. Let's first start with that document I have here that represents an application. It has been made by a designer and it's using hard-coded values that we want to make them dynamic at runtime. So let's first see what we can see in the plugin. So if I show that in the previewer of the plugin, I can see everything is hard-coded to what has been set in the document. The same for the detail page. So what I want to do right now is to bind some of the controls to something that will come from the application at runtime. To do that, I need a JSON payload that represent the structure of the application at runtime that is usually made by the developer and the developer can give it to the designer. So I'm taking that JSON payload here and I will put it in the data context of the page directly by, paste it, by pasting it here. Click Save and if I click Preview, nothing will change. Why? Because I need to tell the plugin what, which control I want to bind to the data context. So let's first start with the text box here. We can go in properties and set the content of it to be something in the data context. In this case, it will be search.turn. If we check in the data context here, at the beginning, we have search.turn. In this case, it would be Putin. So if I go in uh, the previewer and I refresh again, I can see the data has been bound here. So let's do the same for the current location. It will be search.location. And also the same for the result list. So it will be uh, the result array we have here and the payload. But for the list, I also want to tell the plugin to generate an items repeater from it. What it will do, it will use each of the items in the result list and the result array and create an instance of the first element and it will uh, repeat it. So if I go back to the preview, click refresh, I can see that I, I now have five results and each of them is repeating the first one. Now what I need to do is to bind the content of it to the data context inside this element. So if I click on the image here, I can bind it to the details.image because we are inside an element of the array. Let me show you in the data context. We are in the array here and inside of it, we have details.image and we have the URL of the image here. So if I click on preview, I can see the image. And let's do the same for the, the text uh, labels we have there. So if we go here, restaurant, it will be location.name, meal, it will be details.name, and distance, it will be location.distance. So if I click preview again, and now I have the result of my payload. So now let's do the same for the detail page we have here. We select it, click refresh. And now I want every one of them to be bound to my data context. But this one will be the data context of just one element. So let's take the first one here copy it and paste it back in the plugin as a data context of this page. So save. And now if I go and preview, it will do nothing, obviously. But let's first start by the image. I'm, 
I'm selecting the image here. Properties will be the same as before. It will be details dot image. If I go on the uh, detail description text here, I can set description dot long description. If I go place detail place name will be location dot name address. Uh, I have a location dot address. Uh, yeah, and city. I have city location dot city. So if I go back to the preview, click refresh, and now I have something that is bound to my to the data coming uh, from the data context that is represented by the JSON payload I gave to the uh, to the plugin, and we can also check and the exported code and uh, everything that is now dynamic, let's say the image will be bound to the expression I set to fetch the data from the data context. So in this case, we have details.image for the image, and we have location.address for the address, and so on. So now I can end off my XAML or my C Sharp to the developer, and it will be bound to the uh, corresponding values in the data context. Thank you.